Obi-Wan Kenobi is a legendary Jedi Master who affected the Star Wars saga greatly. His actions were paramount to the events that transpired. This is why he matters. Obi-Wan Kenobi was a Jedi Master who trained Anakin Skywalker and fought in the Clone Wars. He was born in 57 BBY on Sujon, approximately 57 years before he met his end on the Death Star. During the Clone Wars, he was nicknamed the Negotiator due to being well known for preferring negotiating than fighting. Obi-Wan was the Padawan to Jedi Master Qui-Gon Jinn. Qui-Gon disobeyed the rules of the, of the Jedi while Obi-Wan wanted to follow them. They both practiced Form 4 lights for combat. In The Phantom Menace, they are sent to Naboo to rescue the Queen and to have to go to Tatooine where Qui-Gon inducts Anakin. Obi-Wan agrees to, to the council saying that he is too dangerous, but Qui-Gon says he will do what I will do what I must. On Naboo, Darth Maul kills Qui-Gon, but Obi-Wan apparently kills him. Qui-Gon makes Obi-Wan train Anakin and decision seals Anakin's fate. For the next ten years, he trains Anakin, and Anakin becomes far more powerful than he, as seen in the Kenobi show in the flashback scene in episode 5. After losing to Qui-Gon... Obi-Wan switches from Form 3, which is almost purely defensive, as he felt that putting up a great defense was more important than offensive, ecratic form of Form 4. But Anakin is immature, hot-tempered, and arrogant. Obi-Wan has trouble controlling him, and due to this, it, him and the Council not truly val do not truly valuing his emotions. This is critical, as Anakin is an emotional young man, and Obi-Wan adherence to the code prevents him from understanding what Anakin needs. The downfall begins in the Attack of the Clones, when Anakin is sent to protect Padme on Naboo and they go to Tatooine to rescue his mother. It is here that his mother is murdered by the Tusken Raiders and Anakin kills them all in a fit of rage. It is due to not being able to control his emotions because of Obi-Wan's insistence that he not value them, and Anakin not being able to do so because he has experienced and accepted love for the first nine years of his life and cannot let go of the emotions he feels. At the end of the movie, Anakin marries Padme against the rules of the Jedi. In the Clone Wars, Obi-Wan and Yoda have Anakin train at a Padawan Ahsoka Tano in order for Anakin to let go of his emotions. This has the opposite effect as they grow close. This cultivates in Ahsoka leading the order, which upsets Anakin. Also, Anakin feels disturbed by the Council when Obi-Wan fakes his death to save the Chancellor. In Revenge of the Sith, he he fights Count Dooku, which results in Obi-Wan getting knocked out, and after he does, Anakin kills the defenseless Count by Palpatine's instructions. Perhaps... Perhaps, if he were conscious, that he would not, that would not have happened. Obi-Wan asks Anakin to spy on Palpatine which he reluctantly accepts. As he defeats General Grievous, Anakin betrays the Jedi and becomes Darth Vader. We want his force to fight and brutally cut him down by cutting off his arms and legs in the duel, leaving him to burn. He then takes Luke to Tatooine. He feels tremendous guilt, as seen in the Kenobi show. Nineteen years later, he takes Luke to Mos Eisley, after saving him from Tusken Raiders as they hire Han Solo to take them to Alderaan, but the planet is destroyed and they get aboard the Death Star. Obi-Wan deactivates the tractor beam so they can escape and sacrifices himself to preserve Luke from turning to the dark side by letting, allowing Vader to kill him. How Luke's, like he then sends Luke to Yoda and warns him not to go to Cloud City. He then tells him the truth about his father and appears and appears with Yoda and dreamed Anakin at the end of, a, of Return of the Jedi. Obi-Wan's story is about when good intentions are not enough. Next to Qui-Gon, he, he has the next he's the next best person to train Anakin, but he is but his not understanding the power of emotions caused Anakin to turn to Palpatine as needing a father, not a master. But the story is also about en enduring yourself and keeping true to yourself. He Obi-Wan Kenobi is the true embodiment of that aspect of the Jedi.